Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Dealer. I show and resell jewelry here on my channel. Um, today, I have a pre-recorded sales video. I put one out every Wednesday. It comes up. Um, it'll show up between 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern time, typically. And it's always on a Wednesday. That's the day it's been selected, and that's what it will be until I tell you it's something different. So, it's a pre-recorded sales video with items that I'm clearancing, um, that I've offered in the past or items that I specifically picked out for this sale. Um, I try to offer everything uh, well under retail of what you'll see online. Um, this week I do have a lot of new items. I pulled more items out of the um, estate boxes that I bought off the estate guy. So it's a first come first serve basis here. Anybody is welcome to purchase from me. If you're a new subscriber or you're just watching um, and you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and leave any comments as well. I do appreciate comments, likes. I am trying to grow my channel and my business. Um, and from what I'm told, I do a great job with the people that keep coming back for years. I, I think I do because I do have a lot of returning people. Anyways, enough about that. Um, subscribe if you're not. And if you want to, and if you don't want to subscribe and you just want to buy off me, that's fine as well. Just email me here, vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. I'll tell you what I need. First come, first serve basis. The first person that contacts me gets the item. I will have the price um, listed down at the bottom as I'm showing the jewelry. And like I said, it'll be, I think I mentioned this, jewelry from $5 to $30. I'm going to start the $30 items and end at the $5 items. So when you email me, let me know. You have to email me too. I can't accept it down in the comments. Just too confusing for me. So email me and let me know what you want. Um, what piece you want. It's good to give me a description. Price and time stamp. Even works. Even better as a picture. If you're inclined to do that. I'd appreciate it. Um, Alright. I'm going to get started in just here in a minute. One more mention. Is down in the comments section. You will see the sold list. And I updated as items are sold i'm pretty timely with it um i've been categorizing them by price so i'll have like the 30 dollar items 20 15 10 and 5 so you can see you know what has sold so you know what you can get all right let me get started 30 dollar and this is cinnabar it's 30 bucks let me give you a measure on the interior two and a half inch bracelet going on the interior so it's an average size bangle that's 30 today nice i have the raza the big raza elephant this is made to look like boone it is not you have a spring ring this is vintage 1970s i believe it's correct on that it's big this is like a five inch in here it's signed raza in here faintly um let me give you a measurement of around the neck as well but he is five inches he's trunk up um nice textured um metal hair here in his eyes this is some kind of plastic um it's very light plastic anyways it is measuring 20 inches around the neck well anchored on beautiful raza um 1970s maybe 1980s i think it is 70s though so it's, um elephant okay and then one more 30 dollar item a lovely this is a little faded up here okay just up here it looks good everywhere else it's all linked together, as you can see. It has the Crown Trafori sign. This is Crown Trafori mid-century jewelry. Crown over the T. And then you even have the little crown hang T with the crown. Isn't that cute? So this is a nice necklace. This is 30 bucks. It's a steal of a deal. Um, if you're a Crown Trafori collector or you want one, um, this is very nice. The metal's in great condition. It's all linked together. So, very nice, well-made. I think give you a measurement, right? It's late. It's getting late. I'm getting tired. Yeah, 12 inches. So 24 around the neck. That's the 30s. A few different things. This is quite beautiful. I'm going to offer this set. Okay. Looks already in plated back there. The pin comes up a little bit. Very nice. I have a pair of earrings. Look. I think it's beautiful. Let me measure it for you. This is a $20 set. If anybody's interested, it's a still of a deal. Three inches out of the estate box as well there's that and then i have the earrings that look like air climbers as well actually like radiant plating looking some kind of plating back there two inches clips the clips are good 
oops, I'm sorry. These are like a gray, a grayish topaz color um, stones. <laughs> it's a right and a left. Okay, however you want to do it. So those, that set is 20. And um, I have these, this, I'll do this for 20 today. This is a really beautiful 1920s, 1930s uh, gold filled um, cameo. I do believe this one's actually marked gold filled on the pin. Over here it's marked. It's gold filled. 120 to 12 karat probably like the older ones. Most of them are. Beautiful shell cameo. Car shell cameo. I think she's lovely. And this is about an inch and a half to t um, brooch here. An inch and three quarters. Um, it's it's twenty ten. Okay, I have these beautiful uh, vintage uh, Japanese. I mean Chinese clues, and they they look like Chinese X part, maybe nineteen seventies. They have this safety like a mega type thing on the back, gold tone. They actually look like this one has more of this on it. Um, they're fine though. They're not peeling or anything. You see that? That's the back of the earring. They are matches, and they're really beautiful. This moves, you can wear this alone. Beautiful colors, black, and a very lovely, lovely, like, sherbet peach color with blue, purple. They're nice. They're about two inches. They're 20. That's a good deal. I looked them up. People have been priced a lot higher than that. I have this set. This will be 20. It came out of the box as well. Um, mostly everything here did. Okay, so this is plastic and metal, and you have this vintage matte finish, um, like textured. I can't see a maker's mark on it. It's very long. I should have a bust hair, shouldn't I? Um, it may not be, this may be too big for this, but I can hang it up to give you an idea. That's nice. Let me put this. And you're straighten it up as well. You can wear it. On high and you have a pair of clips that go with it. It is plastic. Lovely, uh, lovely textured metal. Uh, they're in good shape. So it's the necklace and the nice long necklace. Let me give you a link. I'm not gonna open it, I'm just gonna go down. It is like the shortest is 22 inches. So you've got a very, you know, because the strands are different lengths, you've got a nice size necklace there. Necklace and earrings for 20. I have two, this is a buy it now choice, obviously. I have two big lucite, look at that, baller, um, separated by beads down here on the big ones. Um, and this is a Joan Rivers lucite, it's signed Joan Rivers on here, right there. It is a Joan Rivers large lucite black, and I have a clear one as well that I'll offer. These are 20 each. The total length is 20 inches around the neck without opening it. Okay, so I have the big black Joan Rivers for 20, or the big clear that is the same length and has the hang tag. That they have this at the end of the, they have an extender, so you can wear it shorter, okay? You can wear it like 16 to 20, I think it is. Let me tell you, okay, I, I, I opened it. Four inches on the extender, 24, so 20 to 24 inches, actually. It's going to be a little shorter on your neck because these take up room, but it's the clear or the black is 20. This is a beautiful one. I pulled this out of the box. I just looked today. You have faux pearls. They're glass, so you're knotted in between. And really nice clasp, I thought. Box clasp. I like the star in the center and then you have the clear rhinestones all around so it's a nice long necklace to have. glass faux um white pearls with a really a cute little bo um, box clasp this is a um 20 21 or 20 in 21 inches without opening on the shortest strand so that's 20. i'll move on Okay, now the 15s. This is Flower Power set, <laughs> green. We do have a little bit of, I believe that is like a paint loss up there possibly, or a paint over, but um, it looks pretty good. It's a big brooch, it's layered. It's older, it's just 1960s. You have two layers, three with the center if you wanna count that. Nice color of green, the typical backing on it. I don't see a maker's mark. 
but I think it's about three inches. It looks big, maybe two and a half. Let's see. This is 15. It's three. I got a pair of earrings with it. Okay. These are clip. I don't know if they, uh, they look gold tone in the back, but they were in the box and they wore them together. Whoever owned this, do have a little loss there, as you can see. No big deal. If the set is 15 for the uh, green flower power birch and earrings. I have a pair of ear climbers. These are pretty cool. Lucite. Oh, I think they're really cute with clear rhinestones in the center. Left and right. These are at least two inches, if not three. So these are the blue, like baby blue, blue sight ear climbers for 15. The clips are good. These, these, they're nice. They're old, vintage. Um, I'll do these for 15 today if anybody wants them. They're Musi, M-U-S-I, that's black faceted glass. These are shoe clips and they're fairly big. So you can see they're signed Musi right here. The shoe clip brand clips and it's signed hair as well. And I think it says patent pending. They are foil back black rhinestones. They're 15 today. They're decent size shoe clips. <laughs> uh, these are 15 only because we have one dark stone there. These are amazing. These are a purple lilac pink um, fully pronged uh, pair of uh, air climbers. Look, you have openings in the back for light on those ones. We have a two and a quarter to two and a half inch like we'll say two and a quarter inch air climbers um earrings the clips are good they're 15 i made them 15 because of that they're beautiful still though 15 dollars i thought these were amazing actually pretty cool looking let me show them let me get an earring one. god i have stuff all over this floor um <laughs> these are nice these are loose sight and look at the dangles on them like here you have the loose sight i have them kind of close together the loose sight pieces and you have the these are fully pronged ab hanging ab rhinestones on there and you can move these around they're, they're in good shape here's the back these are well made everything is wired on individually they're a nice pair of earrings they're big these are at least two inches too i and let me show you one okay without them all close together like that look bent out of shape. Hold on, let me take a look at this area. <laughs> no, they move around on there, okay? You can shake, move. Um, let's make sure they look okay. See how they move? You can move them around. They, they appear, everything appears to be there, okay? They're 15. They're a nice set of earrings. Um, I have these too. These are faux, um, look, faux pearls, big nice clips i don't see a maker's mark on them they're pretty big they're clips the clips are good to look nice and tight like firm not falling and they're two and a quarter two and an eighth inch two and a quarter i mean faux pearls are 15 for that Renza, and you have gold tone um and you have faux pearls Florenza Paris earrings with a nice clip on them, you know, working about two inches. Do this for 15. I have bottoms for it. I'll put it on this. This is a nice vintage. Like, that looks like. Look how pretty that is. Stick pin with a faux pearl. That is faux. I will um add the, uh, I'll find a bottom to it if anybody. This is strung on chain as well. These are a plastic of some sort, acrylic. A barrel clasp, these are metal, these are plastic. And they are all separated by these nice uh, brass beads. And this is strung on chain, it's 15. It's a vintage necklace. And it's 26 inches, I think it's nice. Um, I'm just gonna show it my hand, okay? Cause of the camera, I, I'm angled done and I need to have a better, I need to get myself a new tripod. All right, that's 15. And then I have, um, I thought this was very pretty. I don't know who the maker is. It's a vintage piece though. Um, you have, I don't see any markings on it. You have these lovely triple strand or four strand. Let's see, you have that. You have an extender on it that has the faux pearls. These are faux. And then you have this 
Let me give you a measure. 13 to 16 and a half inches. So it's a, it's an older necklace as well. All right, now on to 10. Um, I thought this was adorable. I sold a set with the earrings on Monday. It's it's a little sequin flower power. That's what I'm calling it. Metal enamel and really cute. It's about three inches. They, um, this is good. Let's check it. It is. That's 10 starting at ten dollar items this is made in india these are dyed i i don't even know what this is okay maybe something it doesn't tell you it says it has some information chelsea made in india chelsea is the brand and made in india is made in india there it's a pretty bracelet look the coloring is pretty i don't know if i think it might be horn that's my guess this is uh two that is a guess uh that's what I meant to say. A little over two and a half inches, so you have a decent size bangle. I don't know what that is. It looks okay. It's 10 if anybody wants it. I didn't price it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I pulled it out of the box. Okay, this is really nice Sarah Coventry uh buckle bracelet, silver tone. It's signed Co Coventry up under here. Yeah, it's an old, I think it's the 70s, and it's a buckle bracelet, and it is Two and a half inches. It's average sized, textured, silver tone. I thought it was nice. Um, I have this set. This is a Sarah Coventry set. Okay, I'm going to wing it without it. No, I'm not. Here it is. I don't like doing that. If I can't see well without it. And I want to, this is signed Sarah Cobb. It's a set. It's 10 bucks for three pieces. You get the big brooch. This is like three inches. This is pretty big. Two and three quarters, we do have an operational clasp on it. Silver tone, two and three quarters, slightly domed, big brooch, and then a pair of, these are nice, these go with it. These are nice earrings, actually. Um, a pair of matching earrings, that's 10 for the set. Um, I have these cha-cha, I'm gonna call them. These are really nice faux pearls, they are glass, these are well made, everything is individually wired onto the back piece. They are a champagne color, like a, um, yeah, champagne color, not pinkish, the champagne, champagne color. Lovely um, cha-cha earrings. Everything's wired on, beautiful, nice gold tone, good clasp on them. Um, the clips are good. I think it's a Sarah. It's, it's 10 for the set. I think it's nice. You got this brooch is about two and a half inches. I like the colors on that. And then you got a pair of clips, earrings that go with it. Look. Clips are good. Nice coating back of these. This is a vintage set. Earrings and the pretty brooch. The set's $10. I have these earrings. These are 10. These are clips. These are nice. These are AB. I, they look very sparkly. Look how pretty they look. They're 10 bucks. They're nice, I think. Um, pansy set. I don't know who the maker is. I didn't see a name on it. This is a vintage set, the faux pearl in the center, textured uh, silver tone. You have the brooch. It's about an inch and a half. Yeah. The brooch is an inch and a half. And then you have the clip earrings, and these are older earrings. They are riveted on, and that's the clip. So it's a pair of clip pansy earrings and brooch for 10 vintage set. I have these beautiful crystal. I love the color of that blue. What do they call that? London topaz. Um, and these crystals as well on here. Those are uh, green, purple, and blue. Beautiful crystals and lovely rhinestones that are 10 for the clips. The clips are good. Um, this is, I don't know what this is. I think it's a hematite, okay? But it's um, rose quartz. I do know that. There's no question. But I think this is um, basic, uh, like, alloy um, uh, metal there. It is 17 to... 20 inches. You've got these big, chunky pieces of um, 
rose quartz. Nice clear there. Nice quality. Some of this is... Okay. So, and these are uh, like a brass or something. They are not sterling findings. But that's rose quartz and I think hematite. I have um, I have a couple garnet strands that are quite beautiful. Okay, so these are 10 each. It's 10 for this. It's really pretty. Nice chunk uh, chips of gar um, garnet. Let me give you a measurement. It is measuring a total of 34 inches. They are both the same length, I think. Yeah. So they're $10 each if you want to strand. You have faux pearls and... Those are really prongs, prongs set up there. Um, a, B, like silver, silver faux pearls. These are 10 bucks. They're a pair of silver, uh, silver faux pearls and like silver A, B uh, earrings. These look like pearls. I think these are mother pearl coating over there. Okay, I'm not getting any type of like texture on it. So mother of pearl, we're going to call it. metal. I mean, glass or I didn't test it. Okay. We'll call this glass. This is mother of pearl piece over the top. I think there's mother of pearl coating over whatever this is. And then I have plastic. It's, it's a combination of things. It's a necklace. Uh, it's 10 bucks for anybody wants it. Let me measure it. It has a barrel clasp. It's 20 inches around the neck. So you have a brass barrel clasp. If these are plastic. This is glass hair and a mother of pearl slab placed over the center piece there. Gold tone beads and these are very lovely mother of pearl coated items. Glass. I'm not going to call them pearls. I, I don't know what that's called. Planks. How's that? Ten bucks looks like a plank. This is black onyx and clear quartz. It is twisted, as you can see. Um, <laughs> it's a strand. It's 10 bucks. I think it's nice. It is black onyx on there and 26 inches and clear quartz. So for the two of them, I mean, for those two twisted, it's 10. This, I don't know if he's, I think these findings are sterling. I, I can't remember, honestly. Clear quartz. Um, Dalmatian or, I don't know what's called. It's stone. It's 10 bucks if anybody wants it. It's a very long clear quartz and these stones here okay this is f um fused glass vintage these are older earrings um screw backs okay they're 10 you see the colorings i just sold something like this that don't seem i think they're 10 and then i have the japan glass faux pearls very beautiful double strand look how pretty they are signed japan on the back of hair and then you have those findings. It's a long necklace. I'll tell you how long. The extender is two and a half inches. You have a potential of 21 to 21 to 23 inches, we'll say. And it's pretty. They're nice faux pearls, glass, Japan. That's it for that. All right, I do have some $5 items. Okay, I have a bunch of strands here. So I decided to offer them for five each, see if anybody wants them. This is, again, probably about a 34-inch necklace. It, I have it doubled. That's rose quartz. That's five. Rose quartz. Two gold stones, five each. This is a really nice gold stone. Gold stone is glass. It's not natural stone like the rose quartz, but it's quite beautiful. So these are about the same length. Let's measure them up and see. 32 on this one around the neck. And about the same on this one. This is actually five bucks as well because everything is I'm showing now. Gold stone as well. So I have two gold stones at five each, one rose quartz. I have a, this looks like smoky quartz. Okay, this is five as well. A long strand of, looks like black onyx and, and smoky topaz quartz. They're all stones that I'm showing now. Tiger eye and I don't know what the beads are on there. I'm not worried about it. Um, I think they're just, they may be silver. I don't know, or, or silver tone, I'm not sure. But this is a bunch of tiger eye on here and some, looks like some jasper. Strand. Okay. These were all in that bag that he sold me some like different 
pearls and stuff. And this is um, black. This is uh, a smoke, like a smoky topaz in black onyx as well. So I have two of them. They're five each. If anybody wants them, I can spend too much time showing them. They, you know, they're just this is quartz, long strand of quartz, clear quartz, five bucks. Um, looks like a smoky quartz, five bucks as well. Long strand, about thirty-four inches or so. Hematite. And I don't think it's silver. I don't know, though. I didn't test it, but it's hematite pieces. This is a short necklace. This necklace is a total length of 18 inches. It's hematite. And I'm just going to say silver tone because I didn't test it with a brass barrel clasp. This is um, faux pearls and mother of pearl. This is um, base metal, meaning it is not sterling. This is an alloy. I don't know what it is exactly, but it is a base metal. It is a total length of eight inches from end to end. You have a little piece of glass, like foil glass, art glass type thing going on there. Some other pearl, couple keys. Pearls are beautiful, okay? I will take note of that. They are quite lovely, but it's five bucks because it's silver tone and it was in a big bag of jewelry and that's just what that goes for when it's like that for me. Okay, it's a nice bracelet though. It's not silver. But the findings on it are, are nice. Um, this, these are a pair of, those are fully pronged. That's a glass AB, and these are sugar cone, like sugary, sugar beads, I'll call them. And then you have these prongs. Look like, what do they call it, sawtooth? These are clips. They are unmarked. These are a vintage pair of, uh, and the clips look good, as you can see. They're not broken. A uh, nice pair of vintage earrings for five bucks. Anybody wants to pick those up? I have, um, these are Avon. These are nice. These kind of match that necklace. And I only have one of them right here. But I do have the other one. It's what fell on the floor. I'll pick it up if anybody wants it. Signed Avon. I'll, I'm going to pick it up either way. But mob base style, set pearl, right, clear rhinestones around. Kind of matches the $20 necklace that I showed in a way. These are Avon, though. Silver tone. Both clips are good. Let's make sure. Let's put it on to see if it's going to stick on my ear. Yeah, so I have the other one all down there. There are five if anybody wants them. These are um, cha cha earrings again, some silver tone. Don't know who the maker is. They are rather light earrings. They don't have very much weight to them. They are clips. They're five bucks. They have these hanging all down. Let me hang them up and I can show them better. Let's see. No markings. Good clips. Silver tone movement on them some sound five bucks they were in the box I, I don't know how old they are either i really can't tell by looking at them these um have a marking i don't know if they're swarovski or not tight i can't see it doesn't look like it but either way these are um rhinestones they look rhinestone-y to me these are cute they are little hearts um they need tightened we'll take them out for now even at five bucks like i said you don't sell broken jewelry to people Unless you tell them, which I just told you. Okay, <laughs> this is a pair of earrings here. Pretty nice, I think. Um, I should probably test them and make sure they're not. Yeah. I don't care. Here, um, silver tone, and I'm calling them crystals. They look like crystals. Okay, purple. Beautiful little dangle earrings. Clips. Five bucks. That's it. That's what Anna has. Not that it wasn't enough. It's a lot of jewelry. If you want anything, contact me. VintageJewelryGalore at Yahoo.com. I'm pretty good at getting back out to you. I will put the list up at, like I said, categorizing get by prices underneath. It'll be pinned on the top of the so comments and it's labeled sold. And um, I will invoice in the evening. I'll tell you all that anyways because you know I repeat myself. But anyways, I hope you have a lovely day. And I will see you again soon. I will have a haul video on Friday because I'm going to manage to get myself out a couple of places. Um, hopefully Thursday. It's been a busy week. It's It's been a lot of um, baby time, you know, and mama. All right. Thank you. Have a good day.